This video explains how to convert a summary statistics output to a data frame object using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a data frame, as you can see in lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame object is appearing at the top right, which is called data. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And then you can see that our example data frame contains six rows and the three columns x1, x2, and x3. Now, if we want to calculate certain summary statistics for our data frame, we can apply the summary function to our data frame, as you can see in line seven of the code. So after running this line of code, a new output is created, which contains different summary statistics for all the columns in our data frame. Now let's assume that we want to store these summary statistics in a new data frame object. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines nine and 10. So in these lines of code, I'm using the data.frame function in combination with the unclass function and the summary function. And within the data frame function, I'm also specifying the check names argument to be equal to false. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object that I'm calling data summary. So after running lines nine and 10 of the code, a new data frame object is appearing at the top right, which is called data summary. And we can print this new data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 11 of the code. And then you can see that we have created a new data frame, which contains the same column names as our input data frame x1, x2, and x3. However, this time our data frame contains the summary statistics information that was created by the summary function for each of our columns. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.